Welcome to I Cook, You Measure. I'm your host, Jen Mueller, and you get to meet one of my very favorite personalities and people from oh. inside the Seahawks locker room, Mr. Nico Thor. Easy, easy. easy. I my love, pleasure. I love that that's what you said. It is, I would say, like your motto. I mean, that people know you. You got the chain that says easy on I got on the it. three Z's on me at all time, you know. It's just, a, it's just a lifestyle, but thanks for having me on. Okay, well, we're going to get going here, and the theme today is going to be easy. easy. We are going to make some turkey taquitos easy. with guacamole. It's a super easy recipe, and here's what I love about it. It's probably going to make more than you need. Well, I say that. They're really good. You might just down them all. What? So they're great to put in the freezer and then to reheat in an air fryer afterwards. But you don't know this. Well, you know that I drink a lot of wine. You don't know that we start the show with wine. So oh, wow. let, me, let me just get the wine out for you here. I'm going to give you two glasses. What a treat. All right. I'm going to have you open the bottle. Right. Actually, this is a little bit of a test, I suppose. To see if I know how to open Do you know wine? how to open a bottle? I mean, you just stab and go for it, right? Well. Or do, oh, am I supposed to peel this bite? Well, it's easier. If I <laughs> How about the uh, expert? <laughs> well, yeah. I do drink a lot of wine. Yeah. So this is a Grenache, and I paired Grenache with our food tonight because Mexican food and Italian food are kind of in the same genre when you start cooking with tomatoes. And we are going to cook with just a little bit of tomato sauce tonight. Okay. This is not going to overpower anything. If I was at a Mexican restaurant, here you can do the restroom there. If yeah. I was at a Mexican restaurant, I would be getting a margarita, let's be very clear. But for the purposes of pairing wine and our food together, this is what I'm going to go with. This wine is from JM Cellars, and I encountered JM, you're going to love this, because it's my initials. Oh, there so it is. So I wanted to pretend like it was my own signature wine. And I was at this huge wine tasting event. I had no idea what I was doing. There were booths, like literally hundreds of opportunities to drink wine. And I'm wandering around and I find this wine that says JM. It's like, well, I hope that this is good because then I can have my own signature wine. Right. The winemaker, John was pouring, loved John, ended up going into the tasting room, became a member. I now love John and Peggy. Their wine is always great. Uh, shout out to John and Peggy. Easy. Shout out to John and Peggy. Really good wine. That's what we're pairing today. There it is. Would you like to do the honors and pour? All right. Again, I'm not an expert, so I don't know how to pour how much. Well. But I do know ladies first. <laughs> Thank that's you. All right. So that's a perfect pour. What you're actually looking for, you want the most surface area right there to aerate the wine. Perfect pour. All right. Nicely let's go. done. We are off to a great Beginner's start. Beginner's luck, I must say. No, Dang, it's did I? beginner's luck. All right. Yeah, don't shortchange yourself there. All right, I wanted the full experience okay. here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Ooh, yeah, we're in That there. one's going to be good. If That's going to be good. Now, I have mentioned on this show before, I don't just make up recipes. That's right. I mean, people can. I'm not that talented. Right. I prefer to follow recipes out of books. That seems like a great way to do it. <laughs> if you're going to do it, I would, why not do it that way? You know? That's not the way you like to do it, but I don't, there's a lot, I'm not, I'm not big into the element of surprise when I sit down with my wine, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd like to just have yeah. dinner ready to mm -hmm. go. What happened to my page? Oh, there, there we go. All right, turkey taquitos. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to preheat the oven to 400 which means it is gonna get hot in here. And what you are gonna do is chop me an onion. Of course. Mm. <laughs> you don't look like you're ready to chop an onion. I'm, I'm here. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Ha wait a minute. In all seriousness, have you cut an onion before? Um, I'm pretty sure you yeah, have, but cool fact, I don't like onions, you know, but. <laughs> I'm not selfish. <laughs> this dish is for you, you guys at home, and I want to do it the right way. So, okay, but can we maybe onion, not wave the knife around quite that, so much? This is not as sharp as it looks. Okay, we're not in danger. We're not in danger at all. Okay, all right. So, how about if we do half of the amount of onion? 
that it calls for because it's all going to cook whoa, together. Nah, nah, I don't want you to mess no, with no, the no. dish. No, no, no. No, we don't can do that. No, 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 no. Super easy. That's what we're going to do. Okay. But you said cut this up, so just chop it up, chopper style, or what? Yes. It, yes, I'm going to let you cut the onion. Is it diced or what? Yes. All right. If you can get it small diced, yes. Easy. Okay. Let's go for it. Meanwhile, I am going to start the skillet and start some turkey. So essentially, this recipe is one onion, one pound of turkey, and because we're using small tortillas, like this small of tortillas, this will go a very long way. So I kind of like this as like a budget stretching, you know, like money saving kind of a recipe, you know? Let's get it. I think we got a lot of people attention with that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, let me put the knife down on our top. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do this. And as soon as you're done with that, I'm gonna grab my wooden spoon. Oh yeah, don't mind me. I <laughs> Is this a nine onion guy slicing onions? <laughs> no. Whatever well, it takes here, to get the, the job done. Well, here, give me the other half of this onion. Give me All the right. other half of this. You got it. We're done with that. Right. I don't even think you're gonna be able to taste the onion. Whoa, I mean. You know, I, you'll be surprised, but <laughs> hey. Well, attention to detail, always your thing. I mean, that's kind of the way you had to be on special teams, right? I mean. Damn right. Let's get it. That's why I'm getting the job done, no matter what. You know what I find funny when I talk to, like, hockey players? Everything with them is so fluid. Like, there, there's no set plays. Right, like it's all, they, they kind of have set plays, but think about how detail-oriented you guys have to be. I mean, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like the, because if you could hone into it and get good at it, and you know, find out what makes you play fast and makes you make your plays, then you'll be all right. You know? When, uh, how old were you when you started playing football? Jeez. Uh-huh. I was, what, six? Yeah, more like five or six. So onions. you ended up, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm also gonna say, you're gonna be able to taste those. Why is that that? It's a little bit bigger than a dice. Yeah, that's like a salad bar dice. <laughs> I wasn't sure what dice, <laughs> what dice you were going for here. I'm not the onion. <laughs> Okay. But, oh, you want to go for the fine dice. Well, Let's hide them. Well, can't hide them if, if I slice them. I know they're in there. But I'm pretty sure it's Why do I feel amazing. like this is, <laughs> why do I feel like <laughs> I'm being set up? For what? I don't know. I just feel like I'm being set up. Here, no. would you mind if I just did like a little bit? Dice it. I could dice it up more if you want. Okay. I love, I love that you're doing this with a glass of wine in your hand. Oh, yeah. It's a little unconventional. Uh, it's, a, it's a little unconventional. I'm learning. Kids, don't try this at home. Please. Do not. Meanwhile, over here in this pan, we are browning one pound of turkey. I just did a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil in there. Turkey doesn't have a whole lot of fat in it, especially if you get the one that has the least amount of fat. So I understand like the balance there of trying to, to be healthy with that, but you've got to have something in the pan so that it cooks. Otherwise, you're just going to get this lump of, I don't, it's just, it's going to be like rock hard meatloaf kind of thing. Oh no. We don't want that. No, All right. we so, don't no, want that. When you finished your career with the Seahawks, right. special teams do everything, cornerback, but when you started playing football, what position did you play? I played uh, well, like running back. No way. Quarterback, yeah, for sure. Quarterback, I can see. Yeah, you know, literally, you just take it and run. Oh, well, that's true. But back then, I mean, you played both sides for sure. Yeah. So. So who did you make the decision on your own that you were just going to focus on defense, or oh, did it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a, that was one of them. Like yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. So 
I find this interesting because once people get a chance to be a running back and touch the ball all the time, and then you switch over to defense, and now you're a cornerback, and you, you're probably not going to touch the ball all that much. I mean, but for me, I, I probably got the same excitement out of the hits as the running backs like getting touches. It was that simple for me. It was just, yeah, just. So I rather, you're lighting up kids in the Little League. Yeah, I wanted to do the lighting up. You know, somebody might catch me slipping if the quarterback threw it a certain way because I know I'm going to try to catch it. But if I'm doing the lighting up, I'm doing, I got a good chance, you know? <laughs> so I decided which end of the stick I wanted to be on, <laughs> if you would. But. So how'd you make your college choice? What? As far as what position? Oh, oh no! Like school? where you were going to college? You played for a national uh, champion. You know what? A lot of people ask me that. I don't. Know, it was. It was a lot of things. There's a lot of things. You know, along with the good visit. You can dump that in here when you're ready. Is it ready? You want me to do it up one more time? You no, sure? I think that's pretty good. It's just pretty fine. Ooh. -wee. Hey, why don't you tell the people what this smell like? Cause they can't smell it right now. <laughs> over my show. Right. I'm going to wait until you add the spices to tell them what it smells like. Ooh. You can set that aside and now you've got to do a little bit of measuring, okay? All right, I'm going to get rid of these uh, things right here. Yep, you can do that. You could set it in the sink, whichever works for you. I know you want them as far away from you as you can possibly get. Right. Dang, I'm going to have to pick that up. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get you a new cutting board when we make guac. Okay. Guac got that in it too, ain't it? <clears throat> Sometimes it does. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna go with teaspoons and teaspoons and a half, so. Dang, we measuring the seasoning too? Okay. I'm as, just asking. As I have said before. I'm just curious. I, I'm curious. Yes, and. Mm -hmm. When it comes to measuring seasoning, you can be a little heavy-handed and a little light-handed in certain ways. We if you it. know what you like, then you can, right. you can kind of change. If it's a recipe you're trying for the first time, then you actually might want to kind of follow it just to see yeah, if it yeah. plays out the way that you think it's going to play out. So, mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to call it off. Here's all of your measuring spoons. You know, this is how I learned how to do fractions and math. Awesome. That's crazy. How about, how about if you start with the oregano that I didn't refill from the store? That's about a half a teaspoon. Just dump that all in there. All right. Bet. And you can take off the tops too on that one. Okay. If that's just easier. Yeah. Bam. Done. Oregano in there. Chili powder. Take the, the top thing. off of that. Boom. No, no let's not do the whole thing. That let's was, do one teaspoon of joke. chili powder. One teaspoon is uh, mm, this one, one right here. Yep. Oh yeah, we're supposed to take the top off. These things are in there. Yep. All right. You got it, yep. Nice. Bam, done with that. One teaspoon of garlic powder. So same thing here, I'll take the top off for you. While we're going, just keep going. Now, technically I should have done that the other way around. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Mm. That way we don't mix the spices. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And then, what's the last one? Oh, cumin. I do like cumin. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. Oh, let me move this out of your way. I'm going to go with the half first. Yep. And if you really wanted to, again, this is where fractions come oh, in. Yeah. You could two do. Two two, wow. Well, you could do three of those. Three. Three would go. be one and a half. One and a half. Right. I mean, it's math. I don't yeah. do a lot of it. I like math for sure. You do? Oh, yeah. Add it up. <laughs> Add it up. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why don't you do the stirring? All right. We're also going to add just a pinch of salt in there. That's it? Because of that other stuff, huh? Yeah. Should be pretty seasoned. Should be pretty good. No, I believe it. No, no, no you got to hear me now. This ain't no doubt when I be asking. I'm just, 
That's for the people. Oh, you okay. You know, they don't get All to right. talk. I got to be the people's voice. They don't voice. get, okay. Got it. In case somebody got questions and stuff. Okay. Okay, so let's let that simmer. I would like for you to open this up. This is just tomato sauce. All right. Nothing fancy about this, but we do need a little bit. It's going to be a half a cup, and we are going to need to measure this into a half a cup <clears throat> or something similar since I previously used my half a cup. How about if we do two quarter cups? And bam. How about that? Two quarters is definitely a half, huh? That's you what got, they tell you me. You really got all the cups. I really do. I have all the cups. Well, they come in a set, so it's pretty easy to have all the cups. Some days I'm better with a can opener than other days. Ooh, nice catch, my guy. <laughs> I haven't used one either in a minute. There we go. I have more questions for you, but you're concentrating no, very, I'm very so hard. I'm so ready for the questions. That's what's got me. I'm too focused on this can. Ready for those questions. Okay, so how about if you pour it into these? We'll do, yep, perfect. Right. Your kids are gonna be so impressed when you go home and you can make this for them. Right, I'm a, I'm a, I can see it now. Well, I can see you not adding onions right, right now. Right, that's so it. I see that too. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely see that. I can see that happening. All right, you said only two, correct? Yep, only two of those because that's a quarter cup. I just needed a half. The other thing I need you to do is give me one quarter cup of water. All right. And we're going to dump this all in there and we're just going to let this simmer for a minute. Now, oh, let's go back to my question and then I have another question for you. Hit me. How did you decide which college to go to? Long answer short, it was just meant for me. I took a visit to a lot of schools. Of course, that one was special for me. Uh, the people, they were very nice. Um, it was very homish. Did you know anybody there when you went? I did not know so. I did not know anyone. And I knew I would take taking a leap anyway, like just going to school period. But for some reason, I don't know, God was like, go to Auburn. And so I went. It was amazing. And which year did you win the championship? What was that? That was uh ten. Yeah. yeah. So what year was that for you? Where were you was that? That was your... my uh sophomore year, I wanna say. Or Man, that's crazy, wait. Nah, that was junior year. You've had so many wins and so many successes, it's really hard to keep No, nah, I want right. to tell you the truth, but I also don't want to lie. I mean, uh, <laughs> Well, that's kind of old. College was a like... long time ago. I'm older now, y'all. I'm the <laughs> uncle with all the nephews, but it was, uh, that was 10. So yeah, that was my sophomore year because I wanted to, I wanted to leave after that next year, which was my junior year, and I wound up staying my senior year. Yep. Okay, so after a big celebration, what's the meal that you would celebrate with? That's easy, that's the favorite meal. What is it? Chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> like, any celebration, it's chicken wings. Yep, that sounds about right. That's not like a celebration. <laughs> What, are they the hot hand? wings or are they? That's the, that's the beauty of it. Everybody get what they like. You got some hot, you got some lemon pepper. No, I'm out on lemon pepper wings. See, that's the thing no, about I'm me. Out. I'm a wing guy, you know. Right, so. It's hard to find I picked wings. the wrong menu for today, so there's that. No, nah, Thanks for sharing it. this now. I also like to try new stuff, <laughs> you know. With onions in it. You know. It does smell delicious, does it not? Nah, it smells good. That's when they go get you. It smells good. <laughs> but, you know, so a lot of people love onions, so it's going to hit. But I'm a wing guy. And then, like, in the A, you can get one wing with three flavors on it. What? Oh, no yeah. way. I said it. I said it <laughs> no. right here. No like, lie. Like, coated three different times or, like, 
Parts of the wing are no, different flavors. Whoa, whoa, nah. Everybody <laughs> has three flavors. Let me get, let me get this straight. Let me get, <laughs> no, let me what we're talking about. Let me map this out for y'all. Okay. For sure. so, okay. I would, uh -huh. I would like to traditionally get, I would get like, I would start with mild, you know, because I don't really like hot, hot. So I'm going to get mild. Then I'm going to get mild teriyaki. Yeah, I'm out on the teriyaki, the, you but know, okay. So then... You already out, so that's when I'm gonna add the lemon pepper <laughs> as the third flavor. Yeah, we are clearly not sharing these for things. For sure. That is one of the best. And then, you know, they got. So, are you the only one who does this, or like other people do this and put three flavors no, on I'm, one way? I'm saying where I'm from, yeah. you can't. Out here, you can't. They just look at you like, why you would you mix mild three or flavors? Hot, <laughs> or you get barbecue or something, you know, and then. Matter of fact, if you in Seattle, you got the best wings you feel like, let me know. Because I'm, I'm here for the, to, to let you know. Put it to the test. I do actually make wings. This would have been a good thing to know oh, ahead of time. Oh, wow. But, but my favorite, and I don't do this often, I just like, I should tell the story. Every year when I go to spring training, me and my guys go to All You Can Eat Wing Night. It's All You Can Eat Wings on Wednesdays, and we go and we have a lot Where? of wings. Well, it's the establishment that's available in Peoria, Arizona, Nico. Oh, okay. It's Hooters. But uh, the wings are good, right. and I only have hot wings with blue cheese. That's See? it. Those go. are my favorites. The guys will try all sorts of things. Yeah. I do not, I want my wings hot. Like, I don't. Are you, a, um, this is the real question. Yeah. Are you a flat or a drum? Drum. Damn. What? That means you can eat with me. Okay. That way I know that, you you're the flats? the flats? Yeah. So. No, I'm not. No, those are like the last ones I leave on the plate hoping to trade somebody. Damn, that's it's like, crazy. It's that like the just... Halloween candy. Like, can I trade you for this? Can Ooh. I get you? Why would you like the flats better than the drum? It's because the flats is where it's at. I don't know about the drums, <laughs> though. I can't tell you no about no drum. Maybe you can. But, like I said, we can share some wings together anytime. That way, I get all the flats. Shit, that, I mean, that'd be nice. <laughs> I was doing good, I was doing good. <laughs> well, there was a couple other slips, that's okay. okay sorry We're almost that. done with this. Nope, <laughs> totally good, almost done with this. Here's what I'm gonna do with you right now. All right. Since you are an expert in the kitchen, I'm gonna do virtual master chef. Let's oh, did it. you need more wine? Oh, no, I'm fine. Are you? You know. Do you really? Did, Unless you don't like the wine, I don't know why you would say no to more wine. This is smelling delicious, and we are a couple yes. of minutes away from pulling it. Because do you see, can you see why we let this cook down, though? Oh, yeah. So when we put it in there and the water, and it made it really liquidy, there was nothing wrong with it. Everything was already cooked, except that if you go to put that in a tortilla, it's just going to make it really droopy, like, mm. right away. So we need this to thicken up a little bit right. so that it's easier to, like, Roll and yeah, put don't in get a soggy real quick. Yeah, what's the fun in that? For sure, though, I understand that. I would have never thought that. So that's why we're doing it this way. The book, see? The book. <laughs> you book. wouldn't. You wouldn't have known. <laughs> you would, you would have know. had a soggy yeah. taquito. For sure. Okay. Oh man. Shout out to the book. <laughs> Skinny taste book. Okay, virtual master chef. I'm gonna give you a list of five items and I want to know what meal you would make with these five items, okay? I would hate to let you down here, but <laughs> <laughs> let's go for it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Butternut squash, apples, ham, sourdough bread, and cheese. Oh, I'm putting these together? Yeah. I mean, like, you could do something and then have, like, a side dish, but, like... Oh, you said, what was the first one? Butternut squash. Of course. <laughs> uh-huh. And then... Uh, apples. Apples. Ham. Ham. Bread. Bread. And cheese. Oh, that's not like a... Uh, one of them boards. One of them... Uh, oh! You board. know what? What is it called? The charcuterie board. Charcuterie, of course it is. That's what I would have. And make it nice and simple. Just 
Dim, dab, when I need, whatever. Okay, first of all, I've never seen butternut squash on there, but I love this idea. Let's go for it. Not at all what I was thinking. You know what I was actually, well, I was thinking a couple of different things, but I was thinking this would make a great grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. And put like yeah, a little yeah. ham on there and yeah. a little like apple and like a little, no? What, this, what, you gonna spread that on the bread? Yeah. The squash? I could, or I could just do it on the side as like a roasted thing. I could roast the apples and the butternut squash together and then make a ham and grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's I don't know. Good... There was a few things. See, yeah, I ain't want to go too far. <laughs> I just left it at that. Okay, how about, how about one more virtual master chef? Because I've got literally two minutes here. Okay, right. I'm thinking breakfast on this one. Okay. Asparagus? Potatoes, pie crust, eggs, and milk. And milk. I had something in mind <laughs> with right, this, what? but I want to know what you come up what? with. Asparagus, pie crust, eggs, and milk. And potatoes. And some potatoes. What would you make? Ooh, somebody's going to be mad at me. I don't know what I'm going to make, but... I don't, I don't know. I hope it be good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I'm curious to hear what are you going to make? What do you? I would make it like a quiche. So I would make, oh. I would whip the eggs and the milk together. The pie crust. Put it course. in the pie crust. That was like Maybe a put some asparagus in there too, and then serve it with roasted potatoes on the side. Mmm. That's see, what I, I was, was thinking. See, what were you thinking? The last one had ham in it. This one ain't even had no meat. I'm I know. It's, I was thinking like, breakfast. I know. I'm like, damn. Well, but if I gave you yeah. bacon, then you just would have put eggs, bake, bacon and eggs on a plate together. And yeah, potatoes. I would have <laughs> really been a layup right there. But the quiche is, uh, yeah, I would try that. OK. All right, well, right now, here's what we're going to try. Let's make sure. Oh, yeah. There's zero liquid left in the pan. Which is good. Right. So we're going to kill the pan. Right? That's right. Okay. Now we have to assemble these. Here's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do this. Somebody is going to tell me that foil is unnecessary. Oh what? You want to know what I'm going to tell those people? Come wash your dishes. Thank you. Damn right. Yep. Yep. I put foil in my pans because you know what I don't like doing? Washing pans. Now, if I'm making cookies, there's no foil on the pan. But that's not what we're doing right now. No, we a little foil. That's what it's foil. That's what I think. Now, yeah. some people would think otherwise. What is that there, Pam? Yeah, well, it's the... Oh, yeah, they don't, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I totally know Pam, but this yeah. is the knockoff version of Pam. No, okay. I, I don't even think people really use Pam. Ain't it like vegetable oil or something? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's canola go. oil. It's Perfect, a... yeah. Pam wanted, that, was Pam healthy? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> healthy nowadays. I don't you know. know. <laughs> Everything's going to kill me. Everything's, oh, I don't know anymore, who Nico. Am I, you know? Come Oh, man, you're killing my vibe, I'm dude. I'm sorry, my bad. You know, let's roll up the tuckey <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here's what we're going to do. If you try to roll up a cold tortilla, do you know what's going to happen to it? It's going to break. Probably. It's going to crumble into about a bazillion pieces. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take paper towels, like keep them together. We're going to make them damp. Have oh. you ever done this? I haven't, so hey, y'all pay attention. She finna put y'all on right quick. <laughs> Wet two paper towels. I got some paper towels. Oh, and here's what we're gonna do. Now you're gonna have to work quickly when they come out of the microwave. We're just gonna do that. Mm. We're gonna like fold it up like this. I already tore the paper towel. I need one more. Right? I'm a bit of a mess right now. Let's do that. Fold those up. So damn paper towels, damn paper towels, microwaves right here. Oh, I knew that. 
It is kind of a weird place. It says... No way, this is in the book? I thought this was off the hip. No, well... Oh, my bad. No, I know, bad, no, that's bad. how you do it. I was oh. gonna actually read, it says 30 seconds. Mm. It's probably not a full 30 seconds, but we're gonna put it in there for 30 seconds. The book, I should have known. That, that You're gonna book. start cooking out of a book oh, now, yeah, aren't really. you? I'm a... It's amazing what happens when you follow directions. But what if you it's get the like, wrong book? No, mm. why would you get the wrong book? It's like following a game plan, Nico. Come on. I'm saying, but who has the right books out there? Well, I'm happy to make some recommendations. There you go. Go on and throw, <laughs> throw them out there. Who you got for them? Skinny Taste is my all-time favorite. Skinny Taste. All right, Here we pop come. those out. All right. All right. We have some very, and very, I mean very hot. hot. Okay, unwrap them. And the race starts. The race literally starts. Okay, so just a small sprinkle of cheese on these. Cheese small. I mean, we're gonna go like, well, because, okay, okay no, kind of needs to be small because you're gonna have to wrap these in. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to wrap them up. So if they all fall apart and all the cheese falls out of the middle. Then we go, then the, okay, the next so, one's gonna look better. That's yeah, true. We're gonna learn for all sure. Right. Take all that right. spoon. And I'm going, bam. Yep. And filling them up. Now I'd put it, yep, exactly. You want to put it kind of towards one side because you're going to roll them up. All right, but that's it right there. How, how thick we doing? We showing That's up. probably good. You might want to roll that one just to make sure that you can roll it. I think that that looks good. Yeah, we in there. Okay, I would put seam side down like that. Yep. Okay, perfect. Oh, wow. Keep Look it going. That. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. Bam. So remember when I said the one pound of turkey like goes a long way in this recipe? You did. It does, because you can't put a whole lot in there. I would put a little bit more maybe in both of those. In both of them? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we don't want to shortchange anybody. Yeah, well, you know, we don't want to give to me. Uh... All right, roll all those right. bad boys up, then we got to do it all over again. Let's get it. So again, here's what I love about this. We're going to pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes. Recipe says 15. I know that my oven cooks way hotter, way faster. So we're going to do it for like 10 to 12 minutes. Um, there are times where I will make an entire batch we're going to pan them. Know right. your oven. You got you to tell them. You do. You have to know your oven. And you'll figure it out pretty quickly. So some could, people um, might be sticking to the book like you taught them now. Because I know I will. I should learn my oven first. <laughs> well, yeah. it only takes one time of burning something to learn your oven. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you smell that? I know you can't, but <laughs> if you could, you would be satisfied. Just not the smell, but we're going to go as far as trying it out. I mean. Boom. Drop a bomb on them. Look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? You know what? You take those off of you plate those. Man, I ain't, I probably. Should we plate those? I'll Here, pay, let's get a I'll couple little plates. I'll pay $30 for those. It's <laughs> a $30 appetizer right there, ladies and gentlemen. It is. I mean, seriously. I mean, I hope, walk along. I hope alone. they don't take me as a joke. Just, but yeah, walk just walk along. Come on now. Here, where's the big fat one that you, I mean, <laughs> you rolled? That should be yours. Was it this that one? Was it. Damn. There it is. All in one, by the way, if you if you haven't noticed, you guys. I like that there's like little cheese. Mm. I tried to put some cheese on the end and make it stick. <laughs> but you know, I don't Ouch, that's hot. Don't I didn't do wanna that. uh <laughs> don't do I didn't that. wanna mention that part because it's not in the book. But you know. <laughs> I am going to plate mine like that. Can you plate mine for the pig? Yeah, but you're not going to eat the guac. 
I mean, it's like a, I'm not, but it looks good. There it is. Oh, wow. Didn't touch. It was close. It was close. <laughs> it, was close. <laughs> it was close. Here's my bigger issue at the moment. That is going to be real hot and it's really going to burn my mouth. Oh, yeah. We have to for sure wait. So, you know, as good as it looks when you guys get it out, make sure to give yourself a couple minutes so you enjoy it and you don't burn your taste buds off. So you... I mean, we're going to try this in a minute. Yeah. Um, Marshawn Lynch, where does he rank as far as funny teammates? Oh, he's up there for sure. I mean, he's just not funny on, on TV. He's what fun. do you mean? He's hilarious. No, I'm these saying days. He's, he's just not. I don't know. I'm, that's my point. I mean, if he's funny on TV, he for sure. We get the uncut, you know, the uncut funny. So he's funny as. as Which teammate as, was funnier? But, oh, the funniest? Yeah. Hmm, that's hard. There's some funny guys come through that locker room, you know. And, uh, What's the guy you did not want to have the locker next to because he was too messy? Mm. I know one. Who? I don't want to say. If it's not your guy, I don't want to say. I play with him? Yeah. Is he, at, is he playing now? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. That can't be hard, <laughs> though. I mean, how many? Uh, what do you think? Not, and not like dirty, just like spreads out, right? Like, you guys you have very tight huh? spaces. See, I don't know. See, I ain't get down like that. I had great, great. That's what you call locker mates. Who was your locker mate? Uh, shoot, I had Lano. I yeah. had, uh, shoot, I had Doodle. I mean, Wait, what? You make Doodle. I mean, oh, McDougal. I mean, Doodle. I mean, I mean, Doodle. Like, I mean, Doodle. <laughs> Dewey, oh, Dewey yeah, yeah. McDonald, by the way, uh, <laughs> his like, nickname was Doodle. No, it wasn't. It was, and, and nope. everybody called him that. No, nope. but this is a, this is not his nickname is not appropriate for this cookie. Show. <laughs> so we're gonna call him Dewey, with <laughs> Dewey, and um, who else? Uh, man, we rocked out probably. That was them probably was the three, because I was on what five mm -hmm. years. I had the same locker right in front of the ping pong table. No, I know. Right there for I any spent and everybody many, to get the smoke. many, many afternoons, yeah, chatting. Just a little birdie out, it might be back. But I'm just saying, it might be back. The ping pong table, is, so you know if it is, but I will be in there. Getting it's hard the for doors. you not to have a locker in there, huh? Um, yeah. Currently, DJ Dallas has your locker, right? Hell yeah, he already know. I, I definitely told him, woo you going to get a big bite. Hey, y'all, check it out now. <laughs> let her, it's let still her know. a little bit hot in my hand, so this could be a giant disaster. Go for it. There it is. The moment of truth. Ooh. Mmm. With the smoke coming off, that's mm -hmm. no TV magic there. That's real deal. Let's go. Ooh. Well done on Cheers. that. Mmm. You know you're supposed to try yours for the peeps, too. Yeah. I know how it goes. Mmm. <laughs> did you get that? Oh, yeah. I got a nod, yes. But yeah, you these are the amazing. To <laughs> these are amazing. You know, game changing. Can't wait to make them at home for my family. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a little bit of the most fake eating I have ever seen. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, that was real as it gets. I was, uh, I jumped off the porch right there for sure. <laughs> Come on, now, give me something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. That was official tissue. <laughs> All right. Well, we did put onions in there because the recipe called for it. He's being a good sport. We really appreciate it. It has been... So much fun to cook with Nico. And look, I enjoy cooking and pairing wine and food. But look, this is not an option for a lot of people who are dealing with food insecurity. That is why for every oh, episode no. of I Cook, You Measure, a donation is being made to a nonprofit to help end food insecurities in our communities.
And with that, we are out of time. Thank you so much, Nico. Easy. I appreciate it. Easy. I appreciate you for having me on. It was amazing. And uh, just uh, put me on this new dish here. I, Three yeah. Z's. Three Z's. That's the new dish. We're calling it Three Z's, and we will see you again next time. Easy. I feel like I just have stuff. Do do chefs on TV have this much crap on their counters? Oh, way them? more than this. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing great. I Cook You Measure is presented by Ascend Hospitality Group, a black and female-led independent restaurant group based in Bellevue, Washington. The collection of concepts proudly employs more than 700 people in Washington, Oregon, Utah, and Arizona. Committed to elevating the communities it serves, AHG invests wholly in both its team members and its guests to take service to the next level. Learn more at AscendHG.com.